mutual friends in college and then we reconnected after, so a couple years ago and then we kind of were friends and then we started dating, so. It's pretty special. When was that? When did we start dating? 2020. When did you first meet? Oh, I don't know, like we just like crossed paths in college. We went to Providence, so um, small, small circle and things like that. Uh, we had a f mutual friend in college, and then we also reconnected on Hinge, so that's, that's really the story. So you first met in college? Yeah, we weren't like, <coughs> we were pretty close, but not that close. And then we reconnected years later. So who made the move to get the two of you together? Was it you or was it him? I think Mackie asked me out and we went to dinner, so yeah, it was pretty special. So where was, where was the first date? Carmela's in Kingston. Oh, yeah. nice. Yes. Do you remember what he had on that first date? Yep. I do. He had on like khaki pants and um like a blue quarter zip. Okay. Do you yeah. think he'll remember what you yeah. wore? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. You can ask him. made the move to sort of get together. Oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember where you were the first time you saw it? Uh, call Providence. Nothing that's particular? Oh, no. Where was your first date? Uh, Carmelo's, down the road. Yeah, nice place. No, I asked her this question, she answered right away. Let me ask you the same question. Do you remember what she had on that first date? What yes. she was wearing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's so, asking you to describe it. Say yes oh, I have to, you, want, you want me to? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she had like a shirt and pants. <laughs> <laughs> I just, she had a long sleeve like sweater and it, I think it was had some stripes, some light blue, dark blue. I'm pretty sure. Who said, I love you first? Oh, he did. Do you remember where it was? Yeah, at my apartment in Oklahoma. Yep, he said it first. Did you say it back? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure? No, no, I did, I did. <laughs> Who said I love you first? That I have got no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. We're both married, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so you know I said it to Mackie first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay.
So if I asked you, you, he didn't didn't say, say, you don't know where it happened. You, you didn't know what the circumstances were. Where? Yeah. What? I assume somewhere around. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. to you in good times and in bad in sickness and in health to love you and honor you all the days of my life Kirsten receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. McLean, receive this ring. McLean, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your bride.
possibly can. This is a great opportunity to do that. <laughs> Probably won't do much of that tonight. I think it's a time to be a little bit more sentimental. And you want the person to meet the right individual, somebody that they'll spend the rest of their life with through the ups and downs, someone who you really trust and somebody whose values match theirs. like honesty and being there for the other person. These are values that matter. To Kirsten and Mackie. So that's the reason I know and Sue knows that Mackie and Kirsten have found each other's soulmates. I think about all the great times that we'll have with Mackie and Kirsten. And with Mackie's family. So really looking forward to that. That's a tremendous positive. I do need to do a toast. I can't let Kirsten completely off the hook. So I, I have learned over the years that it's good to have a prop. Uh, I think she browbeat her teammates into running up and shaking hands with the ref on any particular occasion. I think at some point, Kirsten started wearing this around the house. <laughs> and asked that we call her captain of the house, consulting with Sue on all major decisions. That type of thing. So, so Kirsten took the role of captain extremely seriously. Our wish for Kirsten and Mackie is that they always be co-captains. enjoy the great times together and that they support each other strongly during the difficult times and there will be difficult times. And then most importantly that they constantly work to make the other better. Cheers.